how to get a WGU nursing degree in as little as a year. In this video, I'm going to go over one of WGU, which is Western Governors University's programs, which will get you from RN to BSN in as little as one year. So in this video, we're gonna be answering questions like, is getting this degree worth it in the first place? Is it worth it to get this degree at WGU specifically? And how can you go about getting the degree as fast as possible? And what realistically are going to be the timeframes depending on your lifestyle and how much time you can dedicate to it? And WGU is a school that until recently, I only recommended to my private consulting clients. And the strategies and tactics that I'm gonna teach you in this video, as well as the resource, which is basically a cheat sheet that makes everything insanely easy, is something that, again, I only gave to my private consulting clients. And this is gonna make everything just super easy and straightforward for you. So if you appreciate me making this entire process super easy and giving you all of this value completely free, go ahead, gently tap that like button, and let's jump into it. All right, so first of all, let's go ahead and talk about getting a nursing degree in the first place and whether it's worth it. It definitely is worth it in my opinion. It's one of the best degrees that you can get. There is currently a massive shortage of nurses in the United States. There's also a ton of opportunity for nurses. So for instance, there are many travel nurses out there that will travel across the country, go to hospitals that are understaffed, and they can make up to $500,000 a year. So nursing as a career is great and you have have to get the degree in order to get into nursing, right? So it's not one of those careers where the degree is kind of optional. You can get it maybe, but you know, sometimes you don't have to get it. No, you absolutely have to get the degree in order to get into nursing. And that creates a barrier to entry. So yeah, this is a great degree to get. Now, the second question is, what university are you going to go to? Well, there are a ton of different options for nurses to go to different universities. WGU is a good option. And the reasons for this is because, first of all, it can be done online, it's relatively flexible, and it's going to be one of the cheapest and fastest options. And I highly recommend that you check out my video where I go over the pros and cons of going to WGU because it is a great option for a lot of people, but it's not going to be for everyone. And I'll put that right here. Now, let's say you've decided to go to WGU and get this nursing degree. What are the next steps? Well, first of all, you would want to go ahead and contact them, send in your transcript, as well as all previous experience and credits that you have. And the great thing about WGU is they are very gracious in what types of credits they accept. And you definitely wanna take your time on this step because they will accept previous work experience, military experience, different certifications you've taken, classes that you might have taken during high school, as well as classes that you've already taken when you went to college. And just to clarify, this is the RN to BSN track. So this is where you are already a registered nurse and you are going to get the experience to get your bachelor's degree, which is a bachelor of science in nursing. Now make sure you take your time on this, get those credits transferred in, but don't worry if you don't have that many credits to transfer in because I've actually got a better alternative for you anyways. Now, once you get those transferred in, they are going to send you a list back of classes that you still have to take in order to complete this degree. And at this point, you want to move on to step two, which is for you to use third party companies to test out of many of the remaining classes. Now, in this particular case, you have 23 classes that you have to take in order to get your BSN. And you can very comfortably test out of about one class per week if you work full time, you have a family and you're very busy. But if you're not as busy, you can test out of a lot of these classes in like one day. Now, the third party companies that I recommend are going to be study.com, straighterline.com, and sophia.org. These are the three best ones, and in my experience, as well as the experience of my friend Josh Matikor, who is like the world's expert on how to graduate from these classes quickly in WGU, he took the hardest degree at WGU, which is computer science, and he was able to graduate in two months. But yeah, our opinion on what the best one is to use is study.com. And I highly recommend that you check out the cheat sheet, which I'll put down in the description, as well as the pinned comment below, because that's just gonna organize everything and make it insanely easy for you to figure out which classes match up with study.com. Now, the reason you're gonna use study.com instead of enrolling at WGU and taking those classes at the school itself is basically because it's faster, cheaper, and easier. It's pretty much that simple. So after you finish the classes, you're gonna go ahead and transfer them into WGU, and then you're going to know what are the remaining classes that you have to take. Now, at this point, you are gonna move on to step number three, which is pre-study the remaining classes before you enroll. Now, the key there is before you enroll, right? You are not 
not enrolling yet, the counselors at WGU sometimes will sort of try to pressure you to enroll because if you think about it, they're gonna make more money the sooner you enroll, essentially. So your goal here is you wanna pre-study these classes so that you can get through the actual WGU curriculum as fast as possible. So there are several resources that I recommend in order to pre-study these classes. The first one is using the WGU subreddit. So there is a main WGU subreddit, and then there are typically gonna be subreddits for every different WGU degree. So definitely check those out because people on there will share tactics, strategies, et cetera, for how to study for and pass these classes as fast and efficiently as possible. Another resource I highly recommend you look into is Facebook groups. So again, you just have to search the WGU Facebook groups, and typically there's gonna be ones for the specific degrees as well. And of course, there are lots of free and very reasonable priced resources online. You can use YouTube, you can order textbooks if you want. There's a lot of really good classes online as well that are, you know, have like a small paywall. Then once you feel very confident, you are going to enroll in WGU and finish those classes as fast as you possibly can. So this is the step where you would actually talk to your enrollment counselor and tell them that you want to enroll in WGU. And then you just start knocking those classes out as fast as possible. And it's going to be relatively easy, especially if you did a good job in the pre-study phase. Now, getting a BSN typically takes about four years overall, but of course you've already got an RN, so typically getting a BSN takes somewhere around two years. But at WGU, you can get your RN to BSN while you're still working for the most part and get all of it done in somewhere around a year or so, especially if you use these tactics that I'm talking about. So for instance, this person said, I just finished my BSN in four months doing WGU's program. I had 38 credits to do and just blasted through them, so I got my BSN for about $3,250 total. Pretty cheap. Now, they also mentioned the fact that at WGU, it's basically a pass-fail system. So when you complete WGU, you're going to get a GPA of 3.0, which can affect your ability sometimes to get into elite grad schools. So if you are planning on going on becoming a nurse practitioner, getting either a master's or a doctorate, this can have a negative effect. So keep that in mind. That is one of the few downsides of going to WGU. This other person here said, I did WGU's BSN program while working full-time night shifts, and I got it all done within 16 months. So again, didn't have to quit their job to go back to school. They were able to do it all while they're still working. And at the end of the day, there are tons of testimonials and reviews of people who have gone through these programs online. There's videos on YouTube. There's testimonials on Reddit. Definitely check those out. Uh, here's one. I got my BSN from there. I'm a little older than many of my colleagues, blah, 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 blah. They were nervous about it, but they ended up really happy with the quality of the coursework. And they say that it is legit and it's actually worth the time and the money spent. The model is unorthodox, but it worked for me and seemed to work for a lot of people. I fully recommend it. So definitely check out some of the testimonials and reviews for WGU because it is great for the right type of person, but it isn't necessarily great for everyone. And again, I made a video kind of covering the pros and cons of WGU, so you can check that out. And sometimes there are alternative colleges that are gonna be a better option for you. But with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the cheat sheet and I'm gonna take you through step-by-step -step exactly how you could go about graduating from WGU extremely quickly and easily. All right, so we are now on the cheat sheet. And as you see here on the left, that's the course ID. Right here is the name of the course at WGU. This is how many units each class is going to take. And here are the study.com courses that you can actually transfer in. Now, we're probably gonna try to keep this up to date in the future, so definitely check back. Um, but, uh, you know, maybe straighterline.com, for instance, starts offering this class, pathophysiology. We'll go ahead and put that uh, in here. So we'll try to keep this up to date uh, as things change. But with that being said, let's say you wanted to take psychology from study.com. All you'd have to do is just click there and it would take you directly to the psychology page that does transfer in for that particular class, right? So Psychology 103 transfers in for the WGU class, which is Human Growth and Development. So the way that you would use this is you would go through those four steps that I talk about. And step one, of course, is you would transfer everything in. So this is kind of an example. Um, let's say you transferred these classes in, the ones that are, you know, have the line through them. So let's say that, for instance, uh, you know, during uh, high school, you took uh, AP Economics, and you took one semester of community college where you took communications, psychology 101, 
and Sociology 101 as well as Biology 101. Or maybe Biology 101 was something you already took when you got your original nursing degree, for instance. So those classes you would, of course, be able to transfer in. And then we would move on to step two, which is the test out phase. And so you would go ahead and test out of all the remaining classes using a third party company like study.com. And by the way, uh, you do get 30% off your first three months at study.com. They were able to give me a coupon code, which is Shane Hummus. You can use that during checkout. So that would save you some money and it would also help the channel out a little bit. So I'd appreciate that. So yeah, you can see here, you are able to test out of almost half the classes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 classes you're able to test out of. So this is what it would look like after you transferred those classes in. And at this point, you would start pre-studying the remaining classes. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 classes that you still have to take. And you would want to pre-study those. Once you feel confident and you've pre-studied all of those, you would actually enroll in WGU and then just start knocking out those classes as fast as you can. And the goal here is for you to finish within one to two terms max so you know I had that review pop up where this person was able to finish in one term and they only spent three thousand two hundred and fifty dollars which is great and you could probably even get scholarships to cover that so many people end up graduating from WGU especially if they use my tactics with zero dollars in debt which is awesome so you can finish it fast it's relatively easy it's super flexible you can do it from home for the most part and on top of that it's super cheap if you enjoyed this, go ahead and check out my WGU video right here. I made it just for you.